It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, January 24th. I'm James Spann. It's a cold day, but a weekend warm-up ahead. That's the good news, but the bad news... Yeah, we go back in the deep freeze next week. Take a look at some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. We'll start with the Chiha State Park sky cam. Lots of sun there through high clouds. Up north, not a cloud in the sky. That's the view coming from Cullman. They're sitting at 29 degrees in mid-afternoon. Looks can be rather deceiving. And hey, on the Gulf Coast, by golly, they've had sleet and a few snowflakes today flurries you don't see that in gulf shores that often that's our gulf shore sky cam looking west from the top of the phoenix all suites overlooking the hangout and the public beach there's the uh, visible satellite shot this afternoon you see the clouds cover about the southern quarter of alabama and uh, pretty thick clouds over uh, the gulf coast and uh, i pointed out that little fall streak hole you see there near laurel mississippi in fact uh, one of the twitter followers captured that image from the ground i think those are fascinating they're really not that unusual but that was a great shot uh, down in uh, laurel mississippi earlier today yeah it's cold mid-afternoon uh, many locations at or below freezing despite the sun even down south montgomery they're sitting at 33 up in the north uh, we got 29 for the shoals 27 for huntsville but the good news tonight not as cold as last night again the weekend will feature a warming trend as uh, the trough flattens out temporarily over the east. But don't worry, it rebuilds next week. Temperatures around the nation, it's cold. Uh, over the uh, eastern uh, half of the U.S., a little moderating trend over the high plains. Looks like some folks are sitting around 50 over Nebraska. Uh, well, basically all of Alabama with a red flag warning. The counties in the pink shades there, that's for the potential of wildfire danger. Dew points are like... Minus five, minus uh, Birmingham's dew points, minus seven, seven below zero. It's very dry air. So if by chance you're doing any outdoor burning, be very careful. Up north, winter weather advisories, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, some of the adjacent states for some snow. But around here, we're just dry. Nothing happening through Wednesday evening of next week. And even the thing at the end of next week uh, doesn't look overly exciting at this point. Here's the GFS. This is the global forecast system, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. Still got troughing over the east, but again, we're going to warm up temporarily. Uh, we'll start the morning in the low 20s. The high tomorrow should be in the upper 40s. And Sunday looks even warmer. A chance we'll see low 50s. Hey, the GFS is at 52. The NAM is at 50 on Sunday afternoon. The sky should be sunny both days over the weekend. But here comes that next shot of cold air on Monday. The winds begin to pick up late in the day. Now, during the day Monday, we'll probably be in the mid to upper 40s by maybe early afternoon. But temperatures start to fall, especially north of Birmingham. The winds pick up at, say, a 1045 millibar high feeding in from Canada. Here's Tuesday. You can see how more energy is diving down the backside of the trough. Uh, down below that, Tuesday will be very cold. Uh, the GFS printing a high of 33, strong north winds. The wind chill index could be in the single digits much of the day. Uh, there could be some clouds, and there might be a few snow flurries at some point uh, during this cold snap next week, but no big deal. This is Wednesday, very cold, still windy. Uh, the low Wednesday morning, uh, I don't know, 8 to 13. Kind of depends on where you are. Uh, much like the, the temperatures we saw this morning, the coldest spot I saw this morning in the state was 3 at Valley Head, but that was kind of an anomaly. Here's Thursday. Thursday morning will be probably just as cold, maybe 10 to 15. The high Thursday will stay in the upper 30s. Here's the temperature plot. You can see the weekend warm up and boom, right back in the deep freeze for next week. Now, here's the end of next week. You know, the GFS yesterday at this time tried to show a little uh, maybe wintry weather event. Well, now it's saying forget about it. This is suggesting dry and warmer weather Friday of next week. That's why we call it the land of voodoo. Anything beyond seven days. So uh, it's suggesting it will be dry. Even the Europeans trying to give up on this thing. This is Friday evening. Uh, it's suggesting maybe a little bit of light rain over South Alabama. But at this point, the idea of some type of wintry weather at the end of next week is off the board. But we'll keep an eye on it. It's going to February. This is the 4th. That's pretty good looking rain event. Rain, maybe some storms. On the next day on the 5th, turns a little colder, but nothing like this air we have now. Uh, the end of the forecast on the 9th of February, and that's a different kind of look, uh, kind of a wavy zonal flow across the na nation, and clearly it will be warmer. And I think no doubt the uh, models are signaling that next month will not be as cold as this month. 
which is a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video here will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.